How to tell a true princess. There was once upon a time a prince who wanted to marry a princess, but she must be a true princess. So he traveled through the whole world to find one, but there was always something against each. There were plenty of princesses, but he could not find one that he would consider a true princess. In every case, there was some little defect which showed a genuine article was not yet to be found. So he came home again in very low spirits, for he wanted very much to have a true princess. One night there was a dreadful storm. It thundered and lightened, and the rain streamed down and towards. It was fearful. There was a knocking heard at the palace gate, and the old king went to open it. There stood a princess outside the gate, but oh, and what a sad plight she was from the rain and the storm. The water was running down from her hair, and her dress into points of her shoes, and out of the heels again. And yet, she said that she was a true princess. We shall soon find that out, thought the old queen. But she said nothing and went into the sleeping room, took off all the bedclothes, and laid a pea on the bottom of the bed. Then she put twenty mattresses on top of the pea and twenty eider down quilts on the top of the mattresses. And this was the bed in which the princess was to sleep. The next morning, she asked how the princess had slept. Oh, very badly, said the princess. I scarcely closed my eyes all night. I'm sure that I don't know what was in the bed. I laid on something hard that my whole body's black and blue. It is dreadful. Now they perceived that she was a true princess, because she had felt a pee through twenty mattresses and twenty eider-down quilts. None but a true princess could be so sensitive. So the prince married her, for now he knew that at last he had got hold of a true princess, and the pea was put into the royal museum, where it is still to be seen to this day, provided no one has stolen it. And this is a true story.